says it's me, Nez. Um, I wanted to um, ask a question, and that is, are you a Martha or a Mary? Okay, so let's read this passage in Luke. Luke chapter 10, verse 38, starting from verse 38. Now it came to pass, as they went, that he entered into a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered about much serving and came to him and said, Lord, does thou not care that my sister hath left me to serve alone? Bid her therefore that she help me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things, but one thing is needful, and Mary hath chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. Okay, let me read from the um, ESV. Now, as they went on their way, Jesus entered a village, and a woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. But Martha was distracted with much serving, and she went up to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion, which will not be taken away from her. Okay, okay so we read those uh, passages um, in Luke chapter 10, right? And we see two individuals, two sisters, Mary and Martha. Martha is working. She's a busy bee and she's working so hard to serve the Lord. But Mary, um, she's just sitting in front of Jesus and listening to him and, and hearing his word as, you know, as he teaches. So, and God's like, Mary's like so worried and anxious about her sister. Like, why aren't you working, 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 working? Mary, get up and work. And then God's like, Jesus is like, no, you know, she has chosen the good portion. She has chosen what is needful. And that is to rest. That is to cease from her works and eat, um, eat the word of God. Eat from, you know, listen and sup with the Lord. Eat his word. Listen to it. Abide in his word, you know, in him. Rest in his presence. Um, she has chosen the good portion. You know, it talks about in scripture where um, the good, yeah, the good portion, the good land, you know, the pasture. You know, that, um, you know, Jesus is the door. Uh, this is in John. I can't remember the passage. I don't have it in front of me. But it's like, he's a door and you can go in and out and find pasture okay so it's like a picture of rest so she has chosen that portion and um you know so p these are two types of people that we see in christendom you know mary and martha they're both believers i mean jesus asked Mar martha a question and martha was like i believe i believe lord i believe i believe right so it has been affirmed that um, both of them are, they believed, they believed Jesus Christ. They trusted him. However, there are some who are too busy with um, trying to serve God that they miss the good portion, which is to just rest in his presence. And that's all he, that's required, really, because that's what was necessary. That's all that's required. Okay, we, we need to cease from our works, okay, and let him feed us with his word. Let him feed us. Let him 
fill us with his spirit. Okay, so I, I, I just thought about this and I was like, you know, wow, I am a Mary. <laughs> I don't want to be a Martha. I don't want to be a Martha. Lord, I want to be a Mary before you. All right. I love you guys so much. Take care. Bye.